Hello! In this video I'm going to explain how to make these fabric flowers uh, or fabric tiles really don't know how to call these um, this is uh, made out of different modules like this one um, so I'm gonna show how to interlock these in order to get these well actually we're gonna use two kinds of tiles we're gonna use this one or modules this one and this one uh, this one is the main tile that is going to go like forming this uh, hexagon and this one, this small one, is going to reinforce the center of the final flower uh, like so, so it gives a bit more consistency to the whole structure so um, let's start first we need two of these big pieces and the idea is that we are gonna put these arrow shapes inside these slits so what I'm gonna do now is put this arrow inside this slit and this arrow inside that slit so introducing the tips and pulling from the other side so this is what we end up with now um, the way I, I put together this big flower is by making all these arrows that get to be on top uh, go in the same direction so they form this uh, sort of pattern but this is completely up to you you could decide to make this arrow face this way it's completely arbitrary but i really like this symmetry to it so i i'm gonna show how to do this so to make sure that this arrow is facing in this direction when we put this new piece then you have to make sure that this arrow is going to go down and this arrow is going to go up so like these So, as you can see, the arrow goes in the same direction. And so you continue putting pieces, following the same logic, making sure that the arrow points in the right direction or in the direction you want it to point. like so and then we're gonna continue
okay finally we have to put these two together to complete the flower Okay, so this is the finished main piece and now you could leave this like this but um, there is an opening in the center so depending on what you're doing on the result you want to achieve this may be fine but for me I wanted to give it more uh, structure because I want it to be more sturdy so I created this sort of additional tiles that will cover this center cup and uh, make it a bit more sturdy uh, so the whole tile holds on together better so I'm gonna put this arrow into this slit so it's gonna look in the end something like this once it's inside then you won't see these arrows or well it, they will be visible on the other side so I just put this arrow into the slit this one is a bit more fiddly because it's smaller. Okay, now I'm going to do the same with the other two arrows. So this one goes into this one. As you can see, there are like tiny bits and pieces of fabric that sort of fold onto each other. I like to put them up so that they kind of extend over this central piece. But again, everything is kind of free and uh, there are no rules in this. Um, boop, boop, boop. So this goes like that. Yeah. And okay, finally we put this arrow into this opening and then our piece will be complete. So that is the final fabric, tile, flower, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so on this side it will look like this. So you have this triangle underneath and this sort of pinwheel pattern that will uh, lay on top. And on the back uh, it will look a bit different. Oops. Okay, let me arrange this. Yeah, it will look a bit different because of the way the, the pieces interlock together. So in this one you will see the yeah the negative let's say of the arrows that we put underneath and um, also this sort of pink will pattern because of the way we interlocked the tiles so yep thank you i hope it was clear and if you want more information about this project you can always check the uh, my website on fabricademy that is linked below thank you